Time now is 8.43. Now, she was one of the most photographed women in the world, but it was Princess Diana's iconic photo shoot for Vanity Fair just months before she died, which captured her beauty like never before. Mm. And the man, of course, behind the lens was celebrity photographer Mario Testino. And now he's putting on display unseen images from that session in an exhibition at Diana's former home in Kensington Palace. Breakfast Susanna Streeter was given exclusive access and spoke to Mario in his first television interview about the amazing exhibition. Intimate portraits of a princess. This was her last official photo shoot. Now the photographer Mario Testino has brought the collection to Kensington Palace for a new exhibition. It's the first time many of the images have been shown in public. The thing that you notice most of all is how happy she looks. How did you get her so relaxed? Well, I don't know. It's, you know my job as a, as a photographer and as a portrait to portraitist is, is that I have to break the ice between the person and me because I have to make sure that they will give me a little bit of themselves, something that they wouldn't give to anybody else. And it's quite difficult because sometimes you just have to make a fool of yourself in order for other people to relax and, you know. But I guess that day was special for her too. It was a new period in her life and I think that you could feel an energy within her of joy, of happiness, of at the time, she was probably the most eligible woman in the world. I know, and she looked it, I have to say, when she walked into the studio, you could feel like somebody special had walked in. It's a very odd thing because you'd say that she really was a true princess, you know? Some of the dresses Diana wore in the portraits are also on display at the exhibition. After the photo shoot, she auctioned many of her favorite gowns. What I do with, I mean, most celebrities that I photograph, I try to see where they are at, at that moment. I mean, with Princess Diana, the case was that she was starting something new, a new period in her life. She was disposing of all her dresses that represented um, her earlier years and was going on to a new life. So, in a way, I wanted to show her joy and her excitement and, and a new energy. To me, this wall is probably my favorite wall because it just conveys everything that I like, energy, life, happiness. It's funny because sometimes the pictures that look the easiest and the simplest are the hardest to get. A fashion photographer by training, Mario Testino is now much in demand of his portrait work. He's photographed Prince Harry, Prince William and Prince Charles. I mean, I have to say that it's, it sort of makes sense because you know, the, the Prince William and Prince Harry are her children and there is a similarity in the attitude to the mother and I mean, it's a, I don't know, it's a strange thing, you know, I never thought I would be doing this and I have to say for years I admired the photographers that did do it because it was part of my inspiration and my education. You know, Beaton and Parkinson and that group of photographers were part of my education. When I started I would look at them and, you know, emulate from them. Now a celebrated royal photographer in his own right, Mario Testino has many personal memories of his day with the princess. When I had these photos printed for this exhibition, they were done in New York, and I went to the lab, and I have to say I'm not very sentimental or, you know, get too excited or moved about things, but I, it's one of the f odd times that I could feel her presence in the room, and to sort of gave me a funny sensation of, I don't know, a strangeness within me, you know, like here she is and here she really is. The photographs go on show to the public on Thursday for 18 months. And final preparations complete, exhibition staff had their own Mario moment captured on camera. <laughs> Susanna Streeter, BBC News. <laughs>